I found this image on Reddit recently. It's a satellite image of planes closely packed together somewhere in the world. The post asks if anyone has any details on this jumble of airliners in Tehran. So we've been told the image is from Tehran in Iran, but what are these planes doing here and why are they like this? Well, over the next few minutes, we're going to find out more details by searching for photos taken on the ground and using the clues in those photos to find out what type of planes these are, how long they've been there for, and what's happening in this Iranian aeroplane graveyard. Hi everyone, I'm Ben and welcome back to this channel on open source investigative techniques. You can find all of the links mentioned in this tutorial as well as resources and more in the description below. Otherwise, let's get started. This specific post on Reddit isn't actually unique. I've seen this image a couple of other times. One thing I can do just to double check that is I could pull up the image in Google Lens and have a look for some of the visual matches. You can see I've just done that here and already we can see that it's not the only time that this image has been posted. So there seems to be a lot of hype about what this image shows. Obviously, I mean, it is a fascinating image, right? So let's have a deeper look at it. Well, first of all, we know that the image is in Tehran. Uh, someone has actually posted a location of it. If we go to Tehran, there's basically one airport there and we can go to Tehran. And this is specifically the Mehrabad International Airport. And we can see the planes right there. Before going to look for any photos or any other sources of footage on the ground and identifying the planes, the first thing I want to have a look at is what about other satellite images to see whether this is a new phenomena or whether this has been around for quite some time. The way we do that is by going to Google Earth. I'm going to open up my Google Earth and go to that location I just copied and pasted from Google Maps and there we have the location in Google Earth. I'm going to open up my historical slider and start going back in time to see historical imagery. As you can see, I'm already in 2021 and we can still see those planes. They seem to be still quite jumbled up. Some of these are quite squashed around here. And if we keep going back, we can still see them plenty of dates back. Seems like some of those planes are even there as far back as 2015, some even 2014, maybe even 2013. There's a lot less. So it looks like we've got those planes it's a fair indication that they've been around for quite a few years, at least 10 years. Okay, back to our Google Maps. The first way I'm going to look for imagery from the ground is by using our trusty companion right here, Google Maps. The way I'm going to do this is by scrolling around on some of these areas. I might even bring up something called Google Street View, which is by clicking this little person down in the bottom right here it says browse street view images. What that does is it picks up all of the straight blue lines, which are Google street view images, but also these 360 degree photos represented as little blue dots on the map. We can actually see that we have one of those right here. Let's click it open and see what it looks like. If I turn around, hey, we can see some planes. Well, that's quite interesting. Let me just orientate myself using my Google Earth because we want to know where we're looking at here. What I can see is that big blue hanger, maybe a plane in front of me, the wings coming over, a green area, and we've got some planes here and some planes over there as well. And don't forget, the photo kind of looked like it was taken back here. If we can see that little blue dot right there, looks like it might have been taken down this alleyway here. So let's orientate ourselves on Google Earth. We'll go to that location. It seemed like we were in this lane right here and already I can see that large hangar over here and maybe I'm looking down here somewhere. Note that this image was taken in August 2022. So I'll just quickly scroll back to 2022 to August. Remember that we had a, a wing going over this bush here and a little shelter right here. Green area and shelter right here. That's quite useful. So now we can see the angle that we were looking at with that large uh, hanger, the blue hanger, this plane and this little plane in front of it. Okay, 
So the one that I'm seeing is this little plane right here, probably this one, and that means we've got an angle. What's interesting about that is that if we zoom in over here, we've got some planes, woohoo. This is our first photo that we've been able to identify of those planes on the ground. But I'm sure we can go a bit further. Well, since this person has uploaded this photo, maybe they've uploaded some others. What I'm going to do is right click and open link in new tab. And this will take me to the page where that person has uploaded perhaps a couple of other photos as well. We can see that this person has taken another photo even more recently in January 2024. Again, we can see those planes. We might even be able to see them in a bit more detail as well. Uh, what I'm looking for is registration numbers at the moment. I can't really see too many of those of the distant ones over there. Maybe something up there, but it's not too clear for me. You can see that this person loves taking extra photos. They've been polite enough to take a lovely photo of engine parts within what is to be quite a large triangular shaped roof factory, a double one. Uh, okay, so that's the extent of some of those photos. Let's continue our hunt for the other photos that might be available on Google Maps. I noticed that when I was looking around, we also had some businesses around here, Asman Air Service Company, and we had one down here, Iran Asaman Airline Company, even a little restaurant that's oddly placed right there, seems to be a bit out of place. Now I might have a look at this one, Iran Asaman Airline Headquarters. Again, going through that same process, I'm gonna have a look at some of these photos. There's some pretty good close-ups around here. None of them in the exact location that I want. We can see that some of these are taken by the same person. So again, right click, open tab, and I might check out this person's Google Photos that they've uploaded to Google Maps. Now we can see that there's a lot of photos that have been taken here. Here we have one interesting photo. If we go back to our Google Earth, we can orientate ourselves. Not only do we have these amazing mountains in the background, I'm sure that took your attention right there, but we also have these two buildings right here. Iran Air, and then we have another one, which is another boxy kind of one. And they're both connected with this little kind of gray frame here. I can actually see that we have two very similar buildings here, one with a logo on the front. I think it's the, uh, the horse bird thing, Iran Air. We can even see the writing. And we have another one here, and we have that frame right there. And these are our planes that we were looking at in the original image over here. So I'm just going to orientate myself. It's always good to verify the exact location that you're looking from. So what we can see, permanent structures. One thing that sticks out to me is this little roof right here in front of this uh, sandy, grassy kind of area in the middle of the, of the apron. So if we go back here, we've got a sandy area in the middle of this kind of runway bit or, or, or driveway bit. Go back a bit, that little building and there it is. Okay, so I'm going to orientate my angle. One of the things I noticed in this picture was a lovely big green tree. We can see that on the left there, and if we look a little bit careful, past this dusty patch, we can see a nice big round green tree. Well, that's really helpful for us to then start to think about these planes right here. So we can see that the end of this tail fin up here has the letters C, E. That could be useful and we might be able to actually search for something like that. This one over here seems to have an EP in there and also is an Iran airplane. It's got the same logo. This one might be a BG maybe. Um, if we scroll out, we can also see there's an EF over here. So they all seem to have these, these two letters at the top. I might try the EP one over here so I'm going to go to my Google Iran Air EP dash. See what we get here. Okay, so flight history aircraft seems to be a registration code, EP. What else could we do with that? Um, most of them seem to have I, so maybe IFA, IJC. Let's just have a quick look at this one. This is on flight radar. This is EP IJA. Have a look at the full and this has JA on the end. So it might be the case that they end the last two uh, uh, letters uh, of, the, of the registration uh, actually on the tail fin. So that could be helpful. So maybe 
the search term I should be using is something like EP and what's our details? We've got uh, over here CF, ICF. So Iran Air, EP, ICF. Now we have EP, ICF. That's super helpful. It seems like this plane's uh, still or, or was getting around at some point. Here is Iran Airbus, A300, 203. We've got plenty of photos here. Converted, 1999, A300B4. This is EPICF, that's the one. It's an A300B4, withdrawn from use and stored at Tehran, Mehrabad in 2014. Well, that's super helpful to know. So this has now been withdrawn from use, that plane. Uh, this one specifically has been withdrawn from use. So the one with the registration CF, which is likely this one over here. And it has been withdrawn from use and it is now stored there. So those are some interesting details that we've got. We might actually be able to find some more photos uh, since 2014. So I'm going to do any time custom range. I might do from 2018. There's a photo of something there. This is from the same site I was just looking at before. Uh, it shows a lot of old photos, but it also shows a photo like this one. So this is apparently attached to it. This one as well. EPICF. So this is the cockpit of the plane that we were just looking at. Uh, this appears to be maybe the side engine. A little bit more details. That was taken in 2018 in August. So at least we have one plane. We can now confirm that that plane is withdrawn out of use or decommissioned. The wording that they used on this one was also quite interesting on the registration details. While looking around at EPICF, that plane, I also found a, another image uh, that we have. This one specifically relates to uh, an A300B4. We can see the image of it here and again, can see the that kind of location or that angle uh, of this image. That's useful because it gives us a, a super clear image. We've also got EPCFH. EPCFH, here it is. There it is right there. Uh, and there it is probably decommissioned. Let's have a look at this image. We can see this one on the ground. Let's just double check the background. So we've got this kind of red and white here. We can see if that's in the image, and yes, we can see that there. So this plane, when was the photo taken of this one? Photo date, April 2015. Again, if we scroll back to 2015, that's quite some time ago, we might be able to see it. It actually looks like it's quite against the wall and quite straight there. Could be this one right here. I think it's this one exactly there. So that doesn't look like it's flying anytime soon. And we can start to get an idea of at least what these planes are, right? So it looks like a lot of these are decommissioned. They've been stripped for parts, maybe engine parts, or maybe they're just not serviced anymore as well. And we're starting to find more and more, right? So I think we have another one here. This is a Fokker 100. It seems to be giving us similar images now from Google. Um, this one was in or this photo was there uh, if we go down here you can see this image again to confirm that we've got this red and white tower i think that's the same red and white tower that we were looking at here this image was taken uh, in 2015 on april again same kind of thing um in front of a blue thing there here we are we've got another plane in front of it so it might be this one right here. And again, that also doesn't look like it's flying anytime soon. That's CFL. So it looks like most of these are definitely out of commission. Okay, so thanks to this image, we've really gone ahead and identified uh, quite a few of these planes already. Just a few of the other tricks that I would have used to uh, identify some of these some of these planes or at least look for content on the ground. So I would have also have gone to uh, social media outlets. For example, I would have gone to Twitter and done a geocode search. So this is a geocode search using coordinates from the location. 
what we would have done is gone to this location, taken these coordinates, pop them in after the term geocode and paste them in there. You can also search for 0.5 kilometers. It won't give you much. And you can also search two kilometers and you can go quite further out as well, right? This is a, a useful way to find any old Twitter content or, or relatively recent, specifically content on X uh, that might have been posted around or within a certain location and it might identify other photos. Even uh, Iran Air is asking where. Don't have to do that because this is a geotag post and they could have just geolocated that like what we have. The other function I would have used is Wikimapia. So Wikimapia is an open source community approach to mapping. It has an incredible amount of details. For example, someone has gone through and mapped basically every single thing you can see uh, at this uh, Iranian airport, the Mehrabad International Airport. What we can see on Google is very different to the content that you can see on Wikimapia. And if we zoom in on that area with lots of our planes, it looks like someone's actually gone through and identified a lot of these. Maybe they've seen the photos on the ground too, or maybe they've just identified them because they're really good at spotting planes on a satellite image. The other tool I would have used to find uh, content on the ground is also MW Geofind. I actually did a video on this quite some time ago. Basically, all you do is find your location, drop a pin, uh, I've dropped this down to one kilometer for a smaller radius. You search for your content, so just click submit. It'll start loading channels or video IDs that have been geotagged to a location, specifically uploaded on YouTube. So this deals with YouTube content only. But you can see that some of these will actually have footage either filmed while landing or filmed while taking off as well. So it's another really good way just to find uh, footage on the ground or around an area where you might only have, say, for example, a satellite image. And again, these are just different ways that you can find that content on the ground to help you answer some of these questions. And those questions that we had are, you know, basically like this. Did we have any details on this jumble of airliners in Tehran? Yeah, well, we can just completely say that a lot of these appear to be decommissioned or out of service planes. They're missing engines, they're missing critical parts that stop them from flying. Uh, they've, been, they've been there for quite some time. So this is an airplane graveyard, maybe being cannibalized for other parts to be used in, in, in uh, other planes. But what we can definitely say is that this is an airplane graveyard and we've got the proof. So we're not just saying it, we can actually show the proof as well. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you've got any other details about this image or any questions about any other images that you might be curious about that you've seen online, please pop them in the comments section below and I'll see you very soon.